We know a lot more over the last decade than we used to. We're starting to understand some of the cognitive factors associated with hoarding, like problems with attention, as well as the beliefs that are associated with the disorder. We're noticing that with a lot of people with hoarding, they have some social difficulties. They might have difficulty connecting with other people, report being quite lonely. Other people with hoarding describe some problems with their uh, cognitive functioning, problems with their memory or attention that contributes to the disorder. And finally, common across people with hoarding disorder tend to be certain kinds of intense emotional attachment to possessions. We do have some treatments that are for, for hoarding disorder. Some elements of those treatment include cognitive strategies to challenge some of the thoughts and beliefs that are associated with hoarding, as well as exposure to discarding and decision making. So increasing people's ability to tolerate those negative emotions and stop avoiding and um, help them to, to discard their items and, and organize them. We have some concerns about the Comrie method for people with hoarding disorder. Others find it quite helpful, but some of her um, advice to keep things only that spark joy. People with hoarding demonstrate attachment to a large number of items and that can be problematic for them. Also sometimes people with hoarding tend to anthropomorphize things which means they imbue them with human qualities. So sometimes some of her strategies might um, exacerbate those tendencies.